Yeah. Do you remember a 13-year-old, Lauren Hudson? She is the co-author of Our Best Tomorrow, student teaching capitalism to America. She joins us now, and she has a bone to pick. Am I right, Lauren? You think that this country is trying to make it more difficult for our youth to succeed? Go, young lady. I do. I think that one thing that our generation needs is to be told the truth. Right now, the government is telling us that big government and raising minimum wage and all this national debt is the answer. But really, it's not. It's just crushing our opportunities. Now, did you write this book with your dad? I did. Um, I wrote the fiction section, and he wrote the capitalism pointer tips at the end so the children will be able to understand how the pointers relate to real life. So is this how you feel? You, as a youngster, you are mad at big government. You're mad at the debt. You don't like the minimum wage. These are your ideas. Mm -hmm. I think that while big government and raising minimum wage may sound great at first, yay, $20 an hour, $10 an hour, more money for the people. But in truth, it's only crushing our opportunities. Like, in northern Kentucky, we can't build a bridge from across the major Ohio River because we don't have the money, because we are $17 trillion in debt. Okay, all right. Um, I, my daughter tried to get a job in a bakery. It required three visits to three separate offices to get three separate forms before she could work in that bakery. I think you're talking about exactly the same kind of thing suppressing the idea of getting out there and making something of yourself. The government is suppressing that natural resource of energy in our young people. That's what your book's all about, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Part of the American dream is to be independent and to be able to support yourself as a person, but the government is just kind of telling us, oh, we'll do this for you, we'll do that for you. But how are we going to be able to work by ourselves if the government suddenly just doesn't start supporting us. We'll never be able to make it by ourselves. Am I right in saying that the last time you appeared on this program, the book spiked? You sold a lot of extra copies, is that correct? Yes, we did, and I'm very thankful for that, and I'm excited to be here today. I predict there'll be another <laughs> spike, and we hope there is. Thanks very much indeed, Lauren. I hope Good there to is. see you. Come back again soon. We'd like to hear what you've got to say. Thanks very much indeed, Lauren. Thank you. Okay. Do you have anything, any cold water to pour on this one, Lanier? Um, an amazing young lady, Lauren Hudson. Write her name down. I'll be interested to see where she goes in life. Running for president in the year 2056. A 13-year-old to be that fluent with you on TV is frankly amazing. I agree with you. Good stuff.